Greetings, everyone, or in Burmese, Alo Mingalaba. My name is Kenneth, Janoname Kenneth Ba. I'm a Burmese American writer and language instructor. Welcome. In this lesson, which is part of my YouTube series called Beginning Burmese, I'll teach you the set phrase you can use to politely ask for permission to do something in Burmese. In English, these phrases come in the form of May I enter? May I visit you tomorrow? Can I stay here for the night? And so on. In Burmese, one way to do that is to use the phrase Lo Yamala. Lo Yamala. It's kind of important to make sure that your pronunciation is Lo, a short, abrupt N in your vowel in that first word. It should not be Lo with a long, lingering vowel. It should not be Lo with a higher raised tone as if you're hollering somebody. It should be Lo. So, Lo. Yamala. It is not lo yamala. It's not lo yamala. Those two have completely different meanings. One of them sounds pretty nasty. With that out of the way, let's start. Suppose you're standing in front of someone's home at the door and you want to ask if you can enter. Let's try that. The verb to enter in Burmese is when. Let me repeat it again. It's when. Burmese words don't have ending consonants like English words. For example, the English word book ends in the K sound, and the word stop ends in the P sound, and even the word win to defeat your enemy ends with the N sound. But in Burmese, this does not happen. It should not happen. It ends with a soft nasal sound, so don't pronounce it exactly the way you would pronounce the English verb win. Pronounce it as win. So the way you ask, can I enter, is win lo yamala, win lo yamala. You start with the verb to enter and then end with that said phrase lo yamala. So you end up with win lo yamala. I'll break it down further for you. Yamala is the question, meaning is it acceptable? Is it permissible? The particle lo. Well, there's no possible way to define lo in English because English just doesn't use that kind of particle. It's what I call a reference particle, a particle that refers to what comes before it. In that case, the act of entering. In other words, you're asking, is the act of entering permissible? So, may I enter in Burmese is wen lo yamala. Let's try another one. The verb to come is la. The verb to visit is Le. So put it all together. To come visit in Burmese is quite simply la le. One more time, la le. The word for tomorrow is manepian. One more time, manepian. Suppose you are visiting a Burmese friend and it's getting late and you need to leave. But you have had such a good time that you'd like to visit again, like to call on that person again, perhaps tomorrow. How would you ask, may I come visit you tomorrow? You can say, Manepian la le lo yamala. Manepian la le lo yamala. Let's take another scenario. You walk into a charming little inn or a bed and breakfast in the countryside, and you'd like to know if you can stay there for a day. How would you ask, may I stay here for a day, or can I stay here for a day? The Burmese word for here is di ma. One more time, di ma. The phrase for one night or a single night is tanya. Tanya. That's number one, represented by t plus the word for counting evenings, which is nya. Put it together, you have tanya. That's one night or a single night. To stay, the verb is ne. One more time, ne. There is a more formal word to say to stay for a short time, and that is de. One more time, that's de. So you can add that to your vocabulary, and later in the sentence and the exercise, if you'd like, you can use that instead of the more casual verb, ne. Now let's review. You have the word dima for at here or right here. You have the verb ne for staying for a short time. And you have the phrase tanya for one night. Now, you also remember, right, the phrase that is used for asking for permission, which is lo yamala. Lo yamala. How do you put all of them together so that you can ask, can I stay here for the night? Some of you may have already figured this out. It's di ma tanya ne lo yamala. Di ma tanya ne lo yamala. Or if you'd prefer the more formal verb, 
you can say Dima Tanya Telo Yamala Dima Tanya Telo Yamala so you have booked your room and you just notice that your inn or your hotel happens to have a restaurant on premise how would you ask if you can have dinner there or is it possible to have dinner there the word for dinner is nyaza nyaza the verb to eat is sa sa so how would you ask may i have dinner here did you figure it out you can say dima nyaza salu yamala dima nyaza salu yamala let me give you two new words for the next exercise do you know what a tight bone is it's a classic Burmese men's jacket worn for formal occasions. It usually makes a great gift item for male friends or a good formal wear option for yourself if you happen to be a man. Just don't wear it with pants, though. It looks best when you wear it with the traditional Burmese sarong called baso. Anyway, the word is taikpong for men's jacket. Taikpong. The verb to buy is wear. One more time, it's wear. Now suppose you're in front of a clothing shop in downtown and you'd like to find out if you can buy a man's jacket, a typo. How would you ask? Well, one way to do that is to say Dima typo welo yamala. Dima typo welo yamala. All right, I think you've got the basic idea. Please try using this structure with other nouns and verbs you might already know. For example, if you're in a tea shop or a cafe, and you're not sure if they serve breakfast, you can ask Dima Manessa Salu Yamala. Dima Manessa Salu Yamala. Can I have breakfast here? Or if you want to ask a friend if you too can go to the pagoda the next day, you can say Manapyam Payatwalu Yamala. Manapyam Payatwalu Yamala. Can we go to the pagoda tomorrow? The word we is not explicitly included in this sentence, by the way. It's implied. If it is clear in the context who we are talking about, then you don't really have to say the word. But if you really want to include it, if you're a man, you should use the polite pronoun for plural, which is janodo, janodo. And if you're a woman, you should use the polite female version, which is jamado, jamado. So you can ask, alternatively, manepian janodo. Payatwalu Yamala if you're a man or Manepian Chamadu Payatwalu Yamala if you're a woman. Another example, if you happen to spot an empty seat next to someone at a tea shop, you can say Dima Tang Lu Yamala. Dima Tang Lu Yamala. Can I sit here? Or if you see a newspaper on the table and someone else is already sitting there, you're not sure if that person wants to pick up and read it or not, you can ask Trenza palo yamala. Trenza palo yamala. May I read the newspaper? Something to take note here. Some people might use the version lo yala instead of the one that you just learned, which is lo yamala. Grammatically speaking, lo yala is a present tense question. So if you ask dima ne lo yala, it means is it okay to stay here? By contrast, if you ask dima ne lo Yamala. It means, will it be okay for me to stay here? Because lo yamala is a future tense question. But in most cases, when you're asking permission to do something, it hardly matters whether you're going with lo yala or lo yamala. Just know that if you use lo yala, you're actually using the present tense question. And if you use lo yamala, you're asking it in the form of a future tense question. Will it be okay? Will it be permissible? With that, I have come to the end of this lesson. So let me just say, as I always do, Naumatwe me. See you later. I'm Kenneth Wong. Hope you have fun learning Burmese.